Hey, what's going on guys? This is an entire video about databases, everything that you need to know, whether it be adding a database, creating a database, connecting a database to your server. This is going to be everything that you need to know. Please join the Discord down below. Get right into it. When it comes to databases, basically what you'll need is IDSQL. It's going to be the main thing that you'll need to run, start, everything you need about the database is just IDSQL. So what you want to do is just hit this top installer here. And it'll just start your download down here. And you just want to set it up. And yeah, that's about it. You need to know that. Moving on to XAM. So you will need this if you were running, let's say, a local host or maybe a port forward server. You'll need one of these. But if you have like a panel for running a 5M server, you will not need this and you'll need a Heidi S. Download this if you're running localhost. Now, let's move on to running Heidi SQL. So you're just going to run it through. Once you set it up and running, you'll get to this page. So basically, if you're running a localhost. It's simple. You hit new, name your database, whatever you want. And then in here, it'll just say default this this and this and you have to do nothing however if you don't have xamp open you'll pop up with this what we need to do you'll need xamp up xamp you see all all of these so really all you need in this is the second one you just need to go over and start on the second one and that's it all you need Minimize this, don't have to touch it. Now you can go to your database and open it. Now you have an open database and this is what your database will look like. Obviously you won't have these two, but you will have everything else. You also won't have a database in here. So when you get, let's say a database like this, inventory database, we'll say like, use or create database and i'll use this and if you need to change it just delete it change it to whatever your database is if you have a panel there's a set database name that you need to name this so you just to hit to make a new database you need to create new and database so create new database let's say esx server it might be es extended or central mode if it's a like panel, it would be whatever name it gives you when you create a database. We'll probably be able to make that name. So then you, let's say you have your SQL that you need to run. All you have to do is hit this button right here. You can see I have quite a bit of stuff. So you can see it's an add-on inventory, add-on items. You can see add-on inventory, add-on items. So you just hit run, basically it says already exists, down here it will run, and if there's an error, it'll tell you an error, usually what line it is. That's, that's basically it for creating a data. Let's go back, change all these, we'll open up Heidi again. Let's say you want to make... The, um, the database for a panel. So basically, you'll hit new, you can name it to whatever you want, name it to 5m2, and we'll, we'll see you have a host name IP. So, for like a panel for 5m, it'll, you'll create a database, you'll name it, it'll give you the name, and you'll look at it, and you'll see. It has an IP, a username, a password, and a port if it's not the same. So basically all you have to do, put whatever IP is in here, put whatever username it gives you, put whatever pass password it gives you, whatever port it gives you, then you can open it. And that's all you need to do. And it's the same thing. You can just run it and that's really all it is. So, so for the second portion here, so for the second portion here, you see there's all this database stuff. 
this might look a little confusing but for like a local host it's pretty simple i don't even, you don't actually even need this there's there's a whole different line but basically you have a server the ip the database name there's no username you just have the root no password now let's say you have a vps you know sometimes it will actually put it in here for you you know it'll do all the work it'll put in your ip the database name it'll put everything in so if you if it doesn't put it in for you all you have to do is put in your the ip that it gives you for the database the database name the user id and then the password that's that's all you have to do for the database and it'll be set up. You have to make sure also you need um, MySQL. You'll need the script called MySQL-async. Not that'll do all the work that you need and just the SQL stuff. That's basically all you need to know about databases. There's really not much to know. Let me know if you have any questions down below or if you need any additional help, you can join my Discord. If you like the video, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.